playing with your space. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, you gotta shoot me! Okay, here's a model we spent part of Saturday and most of Sunday working on it. Hardest model I've ever seen as far as get, getting, the, getting the man to sit on this machine. Hold up the box so we can see what it looks like on the box. <coughs> Upside down. It's for Star Wars. He wanted that and I've never seen a model so hard to put together, at least at the end. Because the man defies gravity. <laughs> I had to attach rubber bands on it finally to get it to stay up. Of course, then he took the man off anyway. <laughs> but he got to spend some lonely time with Dad. I mean, some time alone with Dad. That's what he said, lonely time with Dad. It won't last long, but he's having fun. Okay, here we are, about eight quarter after eight in the morning, and that date and time is correct. We're leaving on our three-week journey to Arizona, New Mexico. We've packed up the van with all kinds of camping gear and stuff, and me and two boys are heading on our way. We're going to pick up Ben, Pensacola. He's with the Clantons, and we're going to head westward bound. Say hi, guys. And Matthew has discovered the Walkman. Matthew! Matthew! Yes! He's off, he's off into Tape World. I got a bunch of my old cassette tapes. He's going to listen to them on the road. Let me see your head. Yeah, he, he's off into Walkman World. And here we go. Hello, boys. I sure hope we have a good trip. So here we are starting our trip. I'll try to take stuff all along the way. And away from home we go. Three weeks, we got uh, Brother Clay's, Richard Clay's son, will be coming to see the house once, uh, once a day. Yeah! Let me spot check, make sure the cats didn't get inside, and we'll be on our way. What? Ah! We are just past Tallahassee at a rest area. And Zach, I had to buy him a notebook because he left everything at home. So I had to buy him a notebook and got him a plain pencil. And he's drawing pictures. Show me your picture of what's happening today. What's, what is that? Tell me what it is. Cool. It's about, about the Grand Canyon blowing up. The Grand Canyon blowing up? Hey, if it erupts, it would become a mountain instead of a canyon. <laughs> well, it's big. And he's doing pretty good. I've got pretty much the, are we there yet? And we hadn't even gone 100 miles. And we only have 2,000 to go. Uh, uh, across the way, Matthew's got him a salami sandwich. Salami sandwich. Kid, you won't eat that crust, will you? Ah. By the way, that's not a Mountain Dew, it's a Sprite. I saved old Mountain Dew bottles to put, fill it up from a two liter Sprite for the kids. Works great. Hey, why don't you just throw the crumbs over there and the squirrels and birds will eat it. We don't throw paper, but that's good because the animals will eat it. Well, there's someone there. Hey, wow, look. There's a horse through there. I see the horse. Um, I could call him. He probably won't come, but there's a horse in there. Zach. Zach. There's a horse over here behind the fence. You want us to come see? Watch out for cars. <laughs> yeah, over here behind the fence. So go look. A black horse. That's pretty neat. Uh, I don't think you're going to get him to come. Oh, that's where they put hay out for him. Pretty cool. See the R-E-C? You see it? That means you're recording. There's a white horse coming. Now you're going to record a picture Here? of me? i got to get in the pictures. Do you see R-E-C in the picture? Yeah. Right? 
Okay, so you're getting me. It's, it's 1.22 p.m. This is me. And again, and the REC goes away. And here we go. Oh, hey, don't touch the glass. Right, put fingerprints on it. Smear it all up, boy. Uh-huh. Here, my brother, Charlie James Babb. Yeah. It is humble about. Oh, gosh, we made it here safely this far. Ah, Matthew, what are you doing? Whoa, Matt, hey, that... I want, hey, I want the... Okay, why don't you take... Well, you better put that thing up. I think I'm just smear it. Here, take a picture. Take a picture of me with my brother. Hey. Yeah. What are... Shaking it around a lot, aren't you? Did you do it? Do it. <laughs> All right, is it gone? No. Oh, you silly boy. Let me see. And that boy wants to grab them glass. Leave that glass alone, boy. Don't touch the glass. Okay, here we are back at our homestead on Bell Lane. You can see the house looks pretty much the same. At least this year they cut the grass. Charlie is renting out the place. Here we are with all our stuff. Zach, there's no film in that camera. And of course here is Don's place. Now he can't go in Don's house, he's working right now. There's all of this stuff. There's Charlie's place. And Buddy's place is right behind there in the trees. He's not home right now. I need to go down and see if Doris is home. Hey! Some of our trees died. Matthew, what you doing? Hey, you're in the middle of Grandpa's garden again. Hey, we, here we are back at my home for many, many years. Darce owns it now and is renting it out. You get kind of grown up around the edges. But you see the hot house Dad dug over there. Next door neighbors got uh, um, Bess and Walt Yarbrough have a trucking company. They were good friends to mom and dad for as long as I can remember. Ah, <laughs> he's got his face in See, our house is right behind there. There's the old shop. Mom had an upholstery shop in there to the left-hand side of that building for many years. Oh well, that's enough of that. It's not the same now that they're gone. Back here, Cecil. There's my boys. <laughs> Quite a bit different. Hello, sis. Hey. Don't you turn that thing off. Oh. You're not going to sit in the car all night just because I got a camera, are you? You get that thing out there. <laughs> Good timing. We were over there talking with Charlie for a while. Hi there. Hey. <laughs> you turn that thing off. Turn that thing off? Yeah, turn okay. it off. Okay. <laughs> Battery's going dead anyway. Well, here we are. We stayed at Uncle Don's house last night and we're about to head on our way. See? Me, I'm about to go back to bed. Yeah, you were you only got about what, four or five hours <laughs> yeah. sleep. Going right back to bed. And that's what I'm going to do. But yep. tell Kelly and them I said hello. Will do. There's the old home. Not quite the same anymore. Ah, son. Well, just wanted to get a shot of you before I left. Okay. Sleepy. Okay. Here we're picking up Ben. Well, that's okay. I'm just taking a quick picture before we go. Oh, I don't have my hair combed. We're here at uh, Granny or Pratt Bernie and Clanton's house where Ben spent a week. We're just picking them up. I just get a quick picture of it. She's giving us all kinds of stuff here. We're hopefully going to stay at uh, her daughter's house in Houston, Texas tonight. Uh, Renee uh, Nicholas used to be Speed, used to be Clanton. Anyway. Thank you, Esker. So we'll. Smile, you're on candid camera. I'm sorry about that. Fun, Matthew. We're out here and it's a bright sunny day in Mobile, Alabama.
We are at the Battleship Alabama. And here's our big load of munchkin. Oh, there comes a, a plane there. And they got that plane there. They got a tank over there. And here's the cruiser. Lots of stuff. And the kids are about to chomping at the bits to go see what's going on. So we will go and see. Whoa, big propeller off a big ship. Ben using my old camera from Germany. And oh man, look at that. That's a mess of bird ship, isn't it? Whoa, look at it. Hey Dad, you should see what's over here. Eagle. Yeah, hey, that's a real gun on the front. That's their machine guns. Right? Okay. Matthew, don't you dare step over that railing. The USS Drum. Huh. Yeah, they saw that in Popular Science. I cannot wait. That'd be so good. They're going to build it the same shape and look, same size and everything, except the new Titanic will have uh, diesel engines and some of the niceties of modern life, but it'll look and feel like the original. Sat in that chair and shot at the planes to keep the planes from shooting the ship. They had to shoot that real gun. I can swim, man. If I fell, I'd really be hurt. that plane before it blows the ship up? You gonna shoot the plane before it blows the ship up? Bam, 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 bam. Okay, this is the front of the ship. I'll have a good view of the rest of the ship from up here. There's my cameraman. Wow, hey guys, this is the very front of the ship. We're going forward. Can't go far. It's gonna blow up. Yeah, I bet you had to put in earplugs when those guns fired because they pop your eardrums, huh? Pretty cool shot, actually. And here's a shot of the airplanes down there. And they got a whole collection of... Let me see if I can zoom in on them. Hey, good, I like having a zoom on here. Look at that, there's that gun. Yeah, look. Over there, that tank. Rail, the railing to the sidewalk is made of shells. Dad, shells. The railing to the sidewalk. Over oh, there? that. That's yeah, really it's shells. Dad, let's go inside. And there's Wait, that. Whoa, boy, I'm getting yanked by the boys. Okay, we'll look at the inside in a little bit. I'm taking pictures of all the planes. There's that big plane. Oh, there's a huge. There's a little gun. There's a cool helicopter. Ah, there's a Matthew. Don't get up there, Matthew, or you're going straight to the car. I'm get down. You can kidding. look with your feet on the floor, or you go. This is a very Matthew, if your feet leave the floor again, you're likely to go straight to the car, and we'll all have to leave. This is a big ship. Oh, not quite, but it's a big ship. You know, if you fell down there, guys, you would die. I don't want you to die, okay? We're not going to die. Hey, Matthew, where are you? Hey. Where are you, Zach? This is the bridge of the ship. Here. Matt. Matthew, back. There's the guns. Matthew, you have to stay where you can see me. Period. We will. Matthew beast down at the galley. He wants to go down, 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 but it's locked, so he can't go down to the engine room. And here is the kitchen. And first next level up is the galley where they where they eat. Oops. And right over here, around the corner from the galley. Oops. That's where they sleep. Yeah, Very small place. Hey, Matthew. They put the torpedoes. Ooh. Torpedo tube. What is it, Matthew? Matthew, what is it? It's a become a No, it's a mannequin. 
Submarine life. All right. Hey, Matthew. Wow. Don't you want to live in here? This is a blow. Yeah? That's a luxury cabin. Uh-huh. Some cabin here, huh? Dad! Wow. Two people in this one. Come on. Huh? There's not two people in there. Well, the deck is hard to go. Oh, uh, they don't want you to go down there. Yeah. They lock it up. Uh huh. Where's the periscope? All right, Matthew, you're shooting the gun. You're gonna shoot the airplane. Bam, 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 bam. Shoot that gun. All right. I'm out of gun. Oh wow. Yeah, they, they don't work that well anymore, does it? Sure wish I knew where Zach and Ben were. Must have been on the back of the ship 30 minutes ago. Guess I'm gonna have to go hunt for him. Got a good wind to keep the flag blowing today. Matthew, don't climb that railing. All right. You gonna fight off the bad guys? No, you cannot go over that railing. front and the battleship on which somewhere I have two boys lost. I gotta go find them. For the battleship uh, Alabama inside the pavilion. They got some aircraft in here. There's prisoner of war conditions. Flight simulator which is kind of cool. We just went for a ride on that. Jungle sleeping arrangements. Some of the more modern jet craft. And there I believe I have, yep, I've located them. There's my boys. Nope. <laughs> I would, except it cost me $12, son. Okay, here we are. They're about to start the ride. You wanna see what it looks like outside? kind of cool the way to do the mechanics. Battery's about to die on me. All together. That's what it was doing inside. It shakes you around makes it feel like you're really flying. Dang, this battery's about to go dead too. Okay guys, we need to get on the road. This will be our only major stop today, except for little pit stops. That's what it's doing when you're inside of it, boys. Look at that. That's something? That's how it makes it feel like you're flying. Look at that, Zach. It felt like you were really flying, didn't it? Those people in there feel like they're flying. 1942. Okay, Matthew, come on. Let's go. Okay, here we are at a rest area. We're getting pretty close to the Louisiana border. We spent two hours in a traffic jam near Biloxi. They had to, we had to get off of the freeway. Yeah, we had to get off of the freeway and we were stuck for over two hours to cover 10 miles. Ah, I never thought 55 would feel so good. Uh, just bag those up, I guess. I'm trying to do some clean out while we're here, I guess. Hey, Zach. Can you swim for me? Hey, Matt. Here we are at the KOA campground. We got about, 20, about 15 minutes before they close the pool. Kids still want me to put up a tent. Oh well. <laughs> Here I'm stuck. There we go. There he goes in the pool. I'm going to save myself for the shower with soap and water. All right. Ben's off to parts unknown, but he'll show up.
There's Matthew. Don't go past the floor, Zach. <laughs> I'll get a better picture in the morning if I still have a battery. Here we are at the KOA. Hey, where'd you hide behind a tree for? <laughs> Here we are in the KOA in uh, Lafayette, uh, Louisiana. Our first camping experience with the kids. The kids loved it. Daddy couldn't get to sleep for hours because it's hot and sweaty down here. I didn't get to sleep till after midnight. I had to get in the van and turn the air conditioner on. Now I've got to break camp. The kids are off kind of playing, which is alright. I had to learn how to put up the big tent in the dark. The kids wouldn't settle for anything less than that big tent. I have a little pup tent too. Oh, it sounds pretty bright. Anyway, time for me to break camp. Huh? Would I do that? Here's some sunglasses. I didn't know if you wanted some sunglasses. Uh oh, date and time is wrong. I messed it up. Oh. Here's some sunglasses. Okay, thank you. Date and time is wrong. It's actually Wednesday, June 21st, 2000, about 2 30 in the afternoon. Dad, I don't want to have to. Here's some popcorn. You can't hold them over if they want to. Oh gosh, he'll go. <laughs> they go nuts with popcorn, but they always seem to make a mess with it, though. That's okay. Just have them eat it. Have them come up here, and you give it. Zach, to are you okay? Zach, get away from that side of the pool, son. Get out of here! Come on, Zach. Now I've got the date and time corrected on this. Yeah, we walked around the uh, battleship and the uh, and the submarine. Spent about 30 minutes trying to find Ben and Zach. Submarine. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> no. Here we are in front of uh, Rene Speed or uh, Rene Nicholas's home. 5923, uh, oh, what is this? Boy, this is Silent Oaks Drive in Humble, Texas, where you find humble Texans. There's an oxymoron. Anyway, very nice house. Probably a quarter of a million dollars in this neighborhood, I'd say, with their pool in the back. We're just going to be here probably about an hour or so, and we'll be gone. Just a short visit. Probably would have skipped the visit if I hadn't had a little box that I was supposed to deliver to her from uh, uh, from uh, Bernadine Clanton. That seemed to be pretty important. I still don't know what was in it, but I told her I was going to come by here, so she gave it to me to deliver to drop by. Okay, here we are at a rest area, maybe about an hour out of San Antonio. We're heading towards San Antonio, that is. And they got swings, and it's just about sundown, ending our third day, day three. We've come 1,100 miles from Crystal River. Uh, I don't know if I'll survive the whole trip, but the kids seem to be enjoying it, except when we're in the van. When we're in the van, they're going crazy. I'm going crazy. But they're loving to see new places and getting a lot of daddy time. I think it'll work out well in the end. They insisted, ever since day one, of wanting to get out the camp stove or build a campfire. I finally conceded I'll try to get the camp stove going and roast a hot dog over the flame. Here's our beast. One of my concerns is I keep hearing a vibration under the hood. I'm hoping our beast will get us to Crystal River, but when, when it does, it's going to get a very thorough going over while we're there. Okay, well, anyway, that's the news from Lake Wobegon. Oh, I'm sorry, from Babylonia. They're having a good time. We're going to close out our day with the sun going down in the background in about five minutes. And my plans are not to set up a camp today. It took me an hour and a half to break camp this morning. I think I told the boys first thing this morning, we are going to sleep in the van tonight. And so we're heading towards Carlsbad Caverns, but I might make a pit stop between San Antonio and El Paso. 
anyway, that's it. Well, I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't quite uh, close out from this rest area. I got the campfire going. Hey, boys, what are you doing? We're cooking. You're cooking hot dogs know. on a fire. Believe me, it's a lot cooler than building a bonfire. It's real fire. Yeah, it's you be careful. Don't touch any of the any of the things on that silver bottle there. Okay? You let me do that. That's only for Daddy. Well, put that one down and get you another one. How? No, no, don't put it there. It's dirty. Put it on the paper towel. What do you think, Matthew? Got the, you got the crooked stick, don't you? Nice and windy out here. I like it. I know, son. Stand over this to the side. Do you imagine if uh, you imagine if I had a big campfire, it would be blowing everywhere? Whoa! We need to be a little far because look, see those orange things going in the air? I uh, hope so one for me. Hey, yeah, you gonna burn it all up, huh? That's okay. You can get it a little bit black. You don't have to touch the metal underneath, though. Cut off of an old tree limb over there. Got him some sticks. Oh, got neighbors. You can make it touch some fire if you want. Okay, you want to put you another one on there? Can you? It's kind of crooked. Can you stick it through the middle? It's hard to do. Well, that might work. That might work, but it might fall off easier. But try it. It might work. Yeah, hold it down a little bit closer. Whoa, I gotta get the trap. Is that pretty good? You can have some more. It's all fired up and hot. Oh, well, with the rest area, she might be able to feed them off the scraps. Yeah. I gave her a little piece of ham. It's like they have a forest fire over there at the distance. Oh my. Now this wind make it hard to control. Well here we are. We slept in the van last night near Junction and we're just a few miles from Sonora now. We're going to go to uh, Caverns of Sonora this morning see what we can do. Oh they love this. They're up on the wagon wheels. We you doing? Hey, you guys, try not to break your full necks up there. Oh, we've been here before. What now, guys? Okay, try not to break your neck now. Hey, Zach, what are you doing up there? Who are you fighting? We're pretending. Gadget? Oh. <laughs> they really like these things. Take your time, son. <laughs> No broken bones allowed. <laughs> Look, Mom, no hands. <laughs> okay. Bam, bam, bam. Kabam, bam. That's my boy. All right. Oh, Mr. Daredevil himself, huh? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs>